My name is Ernella and I am 11 years old. I live in Spain and I am from Argentina. Today I'm going to be reading a book called Hug Time, which is written and illustrated by Patrick McDonald and is published by Little Brown and Company. Hug Time, written and illustrated by Patrick McDonald. There once was a kitten, so filled with love, he wanted to give the whole world a hug. Hug the whole world, will that make it better? As Jules nodded yes, Doozy helped with a sweater. There was no one this kitten wanted to miss, so he made and checked twice a hug to-do list. He hugged his best friends, Mooch, Noodles, and Earl, a butterfly, buttercups, and a gray little squirrel. He hugged all the birds he could find in the park, so many to hug before it got dark. Jules jumped on a boat and set out to sail, and soon he spotted a big blue tail. Attached to a huggable big blue whale, the boat docked in Africa, and Jules kissed the ground. The earth is so precious, so fragile, so round. He hugged an elephant, and a chimpanzee, a giraffe, a hippo, and a baobab tree. Exploring the rainforest by foot and canoe, Jules discovered a species brand new. Kneeling, he whispered, we welcome you. Off to India, with its tigers so few, finding one is hard to do. He waited, he watched, he sat very still. He said to himself, I will, I will. Traveling on, he hugged a gnu, a panda, a peacock, and a petite poodoo. A wallaby, wombat, and a humu humu fish. Number 306 on his to do, uh, on his hug to do list. But at the North Pole, Jules sadly found what it would be like with no one around. So Jules was surprised when his tail got a tug. And a polar bear asked, would you like a hug? The world is so big and yet so small. It's time that we embrace it all. There's something that we can all do. Start with the one that who's closest to you. Hug time.